bunch of the IPs that my websites and my clients' websites are hosted on have ended up on the UCE Protect blacklist. And uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you uh, what that means and really why it's not a super big deal right now. Hey there, Juma fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Juma fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 209 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I am also available for hire, so if you're interested in some short-term help or long-term help with your Joomla site, uh, hit me up, tim at cybersalt.com. And another quick note about the channel, uh, today uh, we reached 2,500 subscribers, a uh, big milestone. So thank you very much to all of you who have subscribed who are subscribers and who have helped the channel reach the level that it has. Today's video is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site. And while you are there, check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites and other kinds of sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA. All right, so, quick preamble about this uh, email blacklist. Now, I send out a lot of emails. I have a newsletter subscription, uh, a, a, a newsletter with uh, 10,000 subscribers and another one with like 5,000 subscribers. I send them out from my own system, from inside of Joomla, on uh, IPs on the, the assigned to uh, my dedicated server that I use for my company, for myself and my clients. I like that because it is cheap. A long time ago when my list started growing, I couldn't afford the professional service to send out the volume that I was sending. So I learned how to do it on my own. And so uh, over the years, I've learned how, periodically how to get my IP off of blacklist because you know sometimes someone unsubscribes uh, instead of unsubscribing they click the report a spam button because they're lazy and you get on the list anyways I figured out how to 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 manage that and I've saved myself a lot of money doing that and I've also been able to provide that service for my clients now I know some of you out there say it's just not worth the hassle just spend the money and uh, use um, uh, spend the money and go with one of the paid services that uh, does your mail and I respect that, totally get that, but I don't have the budget for that. And I have a lot of clients that uh, like the service that I provide for the price I do uh, for sending out bulk email. Uh, and because, uh, it's just, because it's just me and it's my company, I can be very specific about who is sending mail on my server, so it's not really, uh, really a risk. But anyway, so what I discovered recently was that the, some of the IPs that uh, my company uses has ended up on this UCE Protect black list. Um, and so basically how this, uh, how uh, many of the email blacklists work is that they have, they have some email addresses that are known only to be hit by spammers. So if someone sends an email to one of these, um, to one of these email addresses, then the blacklist maintainer knows that that person's sending spam because no one in the world would send that a real email to that address. And then what they do is they take the IP of the sender and they block it because that person is sending spam. And so that works pretty well because, hey, you know, I, I'm not sending out spam and uh, that works out well for my clients too because uh, they're not sending out spam either. So I was kind of surprised when a few weeks ago I ended up on this particular email blacklist and um, uh, then I got off after seven days automatically. I figured, okay, whatever it was, but then I ended up getting a notice about it again, and uh, I've looked into it, and I found it really interesting, uh, and this is a long preamble to this, but I found it really interesting, and it applies to uh, our Joomla sites if you are sending mail out through uh, an SMTP server, a mail server under your name. So, for instance, my company is Cybersalt.com. I send mail out through mail.cybersalt.com. Anyway, so that's... Take a look at some screens here. I'm going to have all the links in the video description below because I'm not going to read all these screens, but it would be interesting for you to, uh, uh, for many of you to, to read and check up on or maybe just to know this information. All right, so let's turn our attention to the screen. First thing I want you to see here is MX Toolbox is a great tool to see if the IP that your website is hosted on is, in an e is on a blacklist. And to do that, just go to MX Toolbox, click on Blacklist, uh, and then paste 
your IP inside this field and I hit enter and you'll see you know it is absolutely clear I mean I've had this I've had IPs stay off a of blacklist sending bulk mail myself for years consecutively uh, but here you'll see I'll run the UCE protect TL3 level 3 level 3 that's important uh, and it's listed and, and you can check out the information here by clicking details all right now it's when I looked into this uh, particular uh, uh, email blacklist and click here I'm not logged into my account uh, I read that the level 3 list is blocking a whole range of IPs all right so my IP for one the one I use as an example is 50283763 this particular uh, blacklist is block is, is blocking 50.28.37 and everything every variation afterwards uh, and and uh, what is unfortunate about this is is that anybody using any one of the hundreds of email uh, IPs that fall within this range are now on that blacklist so I contacted my web host and I said hey you guys that uh, hey can you help me here because this is this whole range is blocked and it says right here as I read what I'm supposed to do and I read on the site here uh, this whole range I need uh, it's not anything I can do about it and so they replied with this email here and they pointed out that the UCE protect is a false positive uh, they've started blocking entire IP ranges and charging to be removed so most email providers have stopped using them. Then they gave me a whole bunch of handy dandy links here and I have those up here already open in these tabs and like I said um, I will place links to these in the video description. Now if you really want to get into the dynamics of what's going on here uh, uh, and some of the arguments and the personalities involved in, in what people think about this blacklist, check out these last two ones. This one, community.spiceworks.com and wordtothewise.com, and you'll find it very interesting. Uh, but basically, uh, what's happening here is that there is a um, this email blacklist, this UCE Protect email blacklist, uh, a lot of email providers and big companies have stopped using it because they are uh, just because of their philosophy and their aggressiveness at blocking full ranges of IPs and uh, and even in uh, in some of the descriptions on the blacklist site itself it describes that if you've done nothing to be on the block list but you're still on there with at because of this higher level of blocking you're innocent party uh, and then it, it is the uh, then they could tell you to complain to your server host or web host to do something about it but the web hosts are not doing that so basically so you know if in your Joomla site you are in the global configuration and this is something I recommend doing uh, sending email out not through uh, not through PHP mail but rather putting in your SMTP information I like doing using that because uh, as far as I know uh, it's the best way to get all of the particular headers and information in the, in the server that you're sending email through if it's set up properly it's the best way to get your mail most deliverable uh, in fact I have a video here on the channel email deliverability for your Joomla site DKIM SPF reverse DNS and DMARC all right so check that out if you are wanting to get even just a few emails of your site delivered with the with the best deliverability rate and possibility of being delivered this is a topic i picked for maintenance monday because one we have our joomla sites they're sending out mail contact forms uh all the different features and all what the extensions send we want to uh, use it through smtp so you want your mail to be delivered and if you're not going to spend money on a paid service for sending out your mail you're going to try to do it yourself uh, you need to be aware of blacklists and uh, so check out your ip but i thought it was really interesting this one uh, this 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 uh, uce protect blacklist and the dynamics around it and what my uh the company that i host my server with which is an incredible company basically said this is a false positive i can't do much about that 
because if you read in the dynamics, the social dynamics and ph philosophical dynamics and I, I think personality dynamics that's going on here, um, this is going to be around. This is just one of those things. A little bit different topic today, but I hope that uh, that was uh, interesting for you. Uh, if it was, please subscribe. Ring the bell to get new uh, not a notification of new things happening here on the channel. If you subscribe, you might be subscriber number 2501. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your support of this channel. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.